Hey guys, for today's video I want to talk about rope again, uh, more specifically tying knots. So today I'm only going to do one knot, the clove hitch. I know that was quick, right? So how we do this? Let's have a look. Okay, so what we do, uh, what we need first, obviously this rope. Uh, today I've got Kim helping me again. Uh, she's off camera as per usual. So let's get to this. No, I'm not about to break a leg, neither did Kim. I had a bit of stick, rod, whatever you want to call it, but I forgot it in the youth room. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's two ways of doing this clove hitch. Got a protruding item, then hook your clove hitch onto it. So what do you do? You've got your rope. The first, you make two loops. The first one you turn towards you, the other one away from you. So the one rope, the one dangling bit is towards you, the other one away from you. See how it looks like? Now, this loose end that's going away from you comes to the back and crosses over and that's what it looks like let's do this again towards you away from you and cross over then easy the other way of doing this, can I have the... What end do you want? Well, yeah, the middle. Okay. Is when you've got, like, anything that's tightened at the end, so you can't slip anything over. You have to use it. Uh, for example, you've got a tree that you want to tie this to. Then you can't go to the top of the tree and come down. So what you do is, slip your rope over. Bring it around on the outside and cross over the inside again. And then through. And then you'll have this. Yeah, I know you guys didn't see that. I'll do it again from the other side. So come across to the outside, cross over to the inside, I hope I'm doing it, wait, let me do this from this side, ah. okay, cross over to the outside, over to the inside, and then 
Okay, let's do this again. You'll lose end of the rope. Because this side's going to where you are. This side is just for the tying off. Over. So it's around the outside. Cross over here. Over again. And you've got that. Through on the inside. Now this is a nice and easy rope. Uh, not. No, no, keep it. Keep it there. Minding it so you didn't smack your head. Ah, uh, won't be the first time. It's nice and easy, simple. What's nice for this whole tight? He's really pulling it, guys. It doesn't seem like it's that tight. But. It's got a nice grip. Why? Because it doubles over onto itself, and then the more force you uh, use, the more it pulls on top onto itself. So it's friction based, and yeah, it won't come loose easily if you keep pressure on it. But easy to let go. Thumbs up. Uh, if you like it, subscribe, comment down below if there's anything else you want to know. Uh, throughout my videos, I will do more knots. Uh, when I, I don't do them off each other. I try to keep it uh, flowing. So this week I'll do knots. Uh, another thing I'll do something else. But I'll get back to the different types. I'll just... So it's not monotonous the whole time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Cheers, guys. A loop, a protruding. Can we delete that? <laughs> no, wait, let's just carry on. Not you carry day. on and then we'll edit it. <laughs> I'm putting that as. Oh, crud. I'm gonna put that, put that as a blooper. <laughs>